Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. We've got another Q&A kind of video. I am recording these all at once for this week. I'm going to be pretty busy this week, so please be sure to go over to the community tab right now. The page and the post will be a few days old by the time this video goes up, but I'll be sure to post regular community tab posts so that it will continually update and you guys can send in new questions for these videos week by week because I really enjoy doing them. Alright, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Alright, so the first question from the community tab comes from Barry Allen Official. They say, do you think Nightwing will debut in the Arrowverse? Bloodhaven and its protector were mentioned many times on Arrow. So I like this question and a lot of the questions in this video is in regards to new characters coming. I always like to theorize about when they could show up and if they will, you know, if they won't. So yeah, he has been referenced many times on Arrow with them visiting Bloodhaven quite a few times. Also, they've mentioned Bloodhaven as a protector. You know, Robin eventually becomes Nightwing in the animated shows, the animated films, you know, the comic books, like everything basically. He eventually becomes Nightwing and he normally moves to Bloodhaven instead of Gotham and he becomes their protector. And so there were many references in Arrow to Nightwing. So it kind of led us to all believe, oh, Nightwing's gonna come at some point in the future in the Arrowverse. But the matter is, and the question is, when is he going to come? So I think there is a chance. I would say maybe it could be like Green Arrow and the Canaries when that show eventually comes out. That could be a chance because that is obviously most related to Arrow because it's an Arrow spin-off. However, I would say there's a pretty damn good chance that he may appear at some point in a crossover from Titans. Obviously, that is a big point. Obviously, they've got real Robin over there, they've got Nightwing, so no problem about that, but in terms of the CW, and yeah, Titans is kind of canon, like, due to Crisis, but I would say in regards to RFs, I think the highest chance would be showing up on Batwoman, and, you know, there's been talks recently about there being Scarecrow in Season 2, they're obviously going into the Batman lore, so I would say Nightwing's up there, they're probably thinking about this right now, you know, I would say it's a pretty good chance that maybe, like, Batwoman and Nightwing team up at some point. So, that would be my guess. I think there is a chance he will debut in the Arrowverse at some point, considering all the references in the past. I would think it would be on Batwoman, if it's any show. Okay, so Anna on YouTube asked, do you think the Joker will show up at any point in the future? So, I like this question, because, you know, this is something that we've kind of got before, but it was very different. It wasn't the Joker, it was the trickster on the Flash. And that was played by Mark Hamill, who on Batman the Animated Series and The Master of the Phantasm and like lots of films and lots of different animated projects, he's voiced the Joker before. And so, you know, we kind of got him with the trickster, but he's not Joker. And, you know, there's various versions that were more and more like the Joker. But, you know, we never have had the Joker yet. And due to Joker being such a big thing, you know, in the DC films, obviously the Dark Knight... Then we move on to last year's Joker film. Such a big presence, right? So that is probably the primary reason why we haven't had him on the DC TV shows yet. Obviously he showed up in a form on Gotham, but that was a bit different. So I'm not sure. But in regards to the DC TV shows, obviously the most likely place would be for him to show up on Batwoman. That would make complete sense. Like I mentioned just before, they are introducing Scarecrow, who was in Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. So, you know, considering Scarecrow was and has been like a big thing in the films, kind of like Joker, but obviously Joker's a bit more than Scarecrow, but he had a big presence at least, and everyone knows Scarecrow now. And so, you know, with him potentially showing up in Season 2, Seems like the Batwoman show is trying to get behind some of these bigger villains. Obviously, they had Hush in Season 1. He's kind of like a C-list Batman villain, so he wasn't like the biggest thing, but he was like pretty big. And then if they step up to Scarecrow, that's like the next step. That's like a kind of B-level villain. And then the A-level Batman villain would be the Joker. So, yeah, I guess there is a chance at some point in the future. And, you know, because the Arrowverse is ever-expanding... We're naturally going to get more and more characters over the years. So if Batwoman continues for a long time 
I'm saying, yeah, there is a high chance that Joker might show up at some point, even if it's not our normal version of Joker, like, you know, kind of like the films, or like, say, on Gotham or something like that. I would say, whatever version, even if he's not called Joker or something, I think there's a high chance at some point in the future. I don't know how soon, I don't think it's going to be soon, but maybe in the future. Alright, so the next question comes from Vito777 on YouTube who says, Wanna see red-headed Wally West in the future? So, again, this is another character, another thing to look forward to in the future. I would say there is a chance as well with this character showing up, and this has been something that a lot of us have wanted in the past. You know, it's always a great thing on The Flash when they have all the speedsters. And even if they're, say, different versions of, say, Barry Allen or, like, Wally West, Jay Garrick, obviously we got the doppelgangers, so there's always a chance. And with time travel, with the multiverse, there's always the opportunity to have and introduce new characters who have already been introduced, but then, you know, introduce different versions of them. And I think they could do this with Wally West, having, say, this be from another timeline, from another Earth, where you have ginger hair Wally West it's different because it's a different earth or a different timeline and so you know many times in the comics especially recently there have been meetings between normal Wally West like we have on the flash and ginger hair Wally West from the comics and obviously we haven't seen him on the show yet but potentially that would be something that would be really cool like what happens if they have a big like two-part episode where you have all these different versions of the flash coming in like Johnny Quick, Jay Garrick returning, you see all these different bad speeds of villains returning like Zoom, Reverse Flash, Savitar, and other villains that we will eventually see in the future, and then you get like red-headed Wally West show up, you have Bart Allen, Nora returns or something like that. I just love the concept of all these speedsters, and especially the idea of the Flash family coming together. So yeah, I'm so down for red-headed Wally West sometime in the future. I totally want to see him. Do you guys want to see him? I think it would be really cool if we saw him team up with our normal Wally West on our TV show. Because Wally on the TV show is great. I love him. He's so good. He had one of the best episodes this season when he returned. And, you know, such good fun. And I really want him to return, like, properly on our shows. But, obviously, Keenan's a bit busy. So, we'll have to wait and see. And... I just think it would be a really good idea to team up the two Wally Wests and have some sort of like two-part episode. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so let's move on to the last question of this video. This comes from LittleBella7117 on YouTube who asks, Do you think Melissa will want to do over eight seasons of Supergirl? So, yeah, this has been something we've referenced before, but you specifically say eight seasons, which kind of intrigued me. Because, you know, we've talked about Grant recently wanting to do many seasons of The Flash because he loves it so much, he's not tired of it yet. And, you know, he's still very young. And, obviously, Steven had the chance to continue Arrow for as long as he wanted to. But he kind of wanted to let go of it because, you know, he set up all this stuff in the Arrowverse. He can return if he wants on any of the shows, basically. And, you know, he has a good legacy. So, he didn't mind doing that because he wanted a break. But Melissa doing over eight seasons of Supergirl. We're heading into season six. We're definitely going to get season seven unless something really bad happens. We're 100% getting season seven because Melissa is contracted and most of the cast members are contracted to go until season seven at least. Then they have to renegotiate their contracts. And I think past then it's a very good chance we'll see Supergirl continue because I think Melissa sees it kind of like Grant. She really enjoys playing Supergirl. She loves it and she realizes what like sort of a role model she is. And I think she would want to continue doing Supergirl. So I can totally see past eight seasons of Supergirl. I can see The Flash and Supergirl going to like 10 seasons, if I'm frankly honest, which is very exciting to me. Because I think it's mainly down to the star's interest in the shows. And Melissa and Grant still have that interest. So yeah, very exciting stuff. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.